Hi, this is day 4 of improving the communication skills. I made a 3 videos and this is the 4th video. I am feeling super confident to speak in front of camera. I can able to see the difference. And this is just about showing off in front of camera so that my brain will be familiarized with facing camera and I don't feel you know nervous I don't feel annoying so that is the reason I'm just showing up to the camera and the weather is super good here and you can see how the footage is the lighting is good I hope my audio is also a little bit good okay so yesterday we done a puja at office and my staff and myself we are enjoying a three days holiday today and tomorrow and yesterday or yesterday today and tomorrow we done a puja and i rested well yesterday and today we are going to uh, area 83 it is near to banergatta national park and it is a resort we'll go there and uh, with family we are more than 10 members are there so we're going to uh, enjoy a day there and this is my wife wish actually she requested me yesterday so i just want to uh, just want to I just want some time but for rest because of her we are going there and uh, I'm also super charged today I woke up at 4 30 and I did a meditation for 30 minutes and I had a breakfast today I had chitrana and uh, yeah so my energy is a little bit high and I watched few videos on how you can improve the English language I think it makes sense after watching that video they have discussed about four topics or four pillars to improve the language that is again in 2020-24 it's August I'm sorry it's October and we have another two three months or we'll say two months 20 days definitely you can also improve the language what you have to do you have to do the four things number one you you try to listen as much english as possible so that you will be familiarized with words and you in your brain you will be having many words so that is point number one and just like our native language we have learned the language not by reading not by understanding the grammar rules nothing we just hear from our parents, our enrollment, our uh, family. So we have collected a lot of words. Then we started to throw out a few words. Then we made sentences. Then we made stories. Right? The same way, if you want to learn English, you just have to listen more. When you listen more, a lot of words will come into the picture or come into your mind. And second thing, you have to start reading because when you hear it when you read yourself or when you read or maybe uh, books you can start with books stories especially children's stories because in children's stories the English is very you know basic English it will be not a fancy word they're not they will be not using any fancy words very simple words they'll be using so it will become very easy for you you have to start doing that and third thing you have to practice it on daily basis again you can ask in my home or in my village or in my office there is nobody who is speaking in english everybody is speaking in the native language where i should use it see how i am doing it right now i'm just talking to myself in front of camera you just have to do the same thing okay you no need to post on social media the you can start doing it the more you start doing it, so it will become better in it and your public speaking skills also will going to spike up 
so that is the reason you just come in front of camera and record yourself talking to camera and last step please you just have to speak with real people okay so how analyze yourself and you recorded yourself finally we going to use this language in front of people only right so in few days or maybe in the initial days you will get the setback you will you may get a criticism you may get some laughs that's fine it's because you're doing for yourself right you're not doing for others if others are demotivating you and you should not get demotivated you have to be motivated you have to show up so that is the learning process you have to trust the learning process i hope these point make sense i'll recap you have to remember four important points step number 1 listen more or you know say point number 1 listen more as much as possible and step number 2 or point number 2 you have to read when you start listening when you start reading more and more words will going to fix in your mind and you will memorize a lot of words and third thing you have to practice it at least for the first period of time or first few days you have to talk in front of camera or in front of mirror my advice is if you have mobile please start with your camera because you can re you can revisit the footage or you can play back the footage and you can see where you made a mistake you have to do that okay and the last one you have to practice with real people yes so try to find a people who are comfortable who can give you the you know uh, a little bit not harsh comments on you so uh, we call it as you know uh constructive criticism yes this word i have remembered constructive criticism means the words which they have told the judgment which they have given is for improvement of you so you have to find those people and start doing it and these are the four points please remember practice it thank you so much i planned for actually i i thought i'm going to take 5 minutes but it's more than 7 uh, minutes i think right so we'll see you in next another video i'll come in front of camera again so this is we 30 days series and this is day 4 and i'll see you in the next video bye bye guys bye